Hey, welcome to Bridges Live. This is Dr. Paul. You're actually getting also a recording on my show I do every morning at 7 a.m. called The Healthy Mind. I've been doing this since the crisis, and it's about for us to connect through what we are going through. And so that you're able to listen to this on the, on the podcast, on iHeart and iTunes, and all of your podcast stations. But you can also catch the video on my YouTube channel, um, Dr. Paul Diagram Master. So if you want to see the live version, go right to that. And it's also very possible. We're going to start the live show now. Welcome. How you doing, Instagram? You're always on first, as you know. Welcome. Welcome, I'll be right with you, and we are going to start The Healthy Mind. Yes. How are you guys doing? This is Dr. Paul. Welcome to The Healthy Mind. And we are ready to begin. As you guys know, I had started this show um, to discuss this time of when we're in our crisis. And in our crisis, uh, we have been going through... Um, some emotional things and so I started the healthy mind because I know we're we're struggling with I, I I'm struggling with my families are struggling with and we all have our different modalities of dealing with it but as I was listening to the news and the media or the Facebook the social media and all those things I I feel a lot of I was feeling so much angst even in my meditation I was feeling a lot of angst. If you have any questions, buddy, um, I know you're watching for overseas, and it's probably a good afternoon for you, to my buddies in India. Um, it's what, I think it's about 4 o'clock in India. 4, four yeah, I think so, something like that. But uh, I know we were going through some things emotionally, and it was causing a lot of physical issues, and it was causing a lot of um, health issues, and then the death. And I have said this before, I think we're mourning. I think we're grieving, and I don't think we've ever been taught how to grieve. I've never never thought that someone actually said, you know, this is a grieving process. We've, he we've heard those things between um, what is the grieving stages, right? The grieving stages is acceptance and, and so on and, and things like that. And that could be true. But what about the journey through grief? What about the, the process through this what we're going through unless you lived in 1919 unless you lived in a different era and you've time traveled and i do believe in time travel but that's a whole different um conversation if you if you live there and you come here or this is your first time experiencing this this is epic and and no one's talking about uh, how we're going to recover from this economically. No one's ever going to talk about how we're going to recover from this emotionally. You know, I was thinking, and it, it, this is not, it's funny, but it's not funny because I also believe I, you know, having pets and animals my most of my, all my life, that our pets are going to feel this when we all go back to work or go back to school or go back to our new normal. Because... Our pets have had us home for this long period of time. They're like, this is either great. I would like to see a new pet movie, you know, maybe Pet 3, <clears throat> about when are these humans going back to work or what are they really saying? But we have a sense of connection, and it's in that connection that we were misinterpreted. 
And when I started the Healthy Mind, the reason why I started the Healthy Mind is to understand the process of a healthy mind, which got into the process of the brain and how the brain functions and how the body, the mind, and the spirit and the soul functions through activity of the brain. That's why I started the healthy mind. And we went over um, the different levels of the healthy mind, um, the three parts, the rational, the wise, uh, you know, the emotional. But now we're in consciousness. And consciousness is something that is, it's a battling state. And the reason why it's a battling state, because I was thinking about how, how to talk about consciousness because you can talk about consciousness in so many different ways <clears throat> on so many different broad issues right um if you ever go to a, a bookstore and look at consciousness or study consciousness and and i and i be, so where do i come from some people say so well dr paul how do you approach this well i approach this i'm a practicing buddhist i believe in christ okay I've been a practicing Buddhist for close to now 27 years. I've taken my vows and the whole bit. So now, how does that affect? Because I believe that in suffering, if you're suffering, then you're affecting your body. So I come from the side of understanding. And, and, and how I got into it, it's a better understanding, is that I've been a martial artist my whole life. And the martial arts practices, the martial sciences practices, practices on all levels of existence. Most of you Westerners, most of the Westerners only think of it as punching and kicking and more of a physical thing. But it's about sickness of all levels. Sickness of the mind, sickness of the body, sickness of the internal, expressing yourself to the external. This is what the martial sciences has always been a part of. It has never been a mystical science. It's never been part of the black arts. Most people don't understand it in the Western world. They call it the black magic. But all of existence have been talking about the martial sciences and how it heals, how it protects. Protects people, protects life, protects all of life and all of its existence. So we, we, we developed that whole self awareness now consciousness is part of that self-awareness now there's different studies on consciousness and how to approach it now you can approach it in a way where it could be cognition right and then you can go the neuroscience i think today i think today we're going to talk about the different approaches now, um, one of my thoughts are this. Um, if we enrich ourselves by attaining and enriching the things we don't understand, we can then create service of all living matter. So... If we, if we learn things we don't understand, and by enriching the things we don't understand, so expanding your... So I do believe the, what you call the mind, matter, cosmic. I do. And that's how I, I, I believe when we meditate, when we prayer, it, it goes into... The complete universe. If you have any questions, so periodically, sometimes I get a little bit of um, talkative and I get wrapped up. I want to say good morning. Good morning to my wife. Good morning. Um, and I make sure I just got to check um, YouTube. Make sure that uh, nobody has any questions on YouTube because you can always put in the comments while you're watching live. Um, you can always just let me know you're watching. Um, <clears throat> and also on Periscope. So anyway... <clears throat> So I do believe in the cosmic principle. You know, I, I think we, we struggle with the consciousness in this crisis is because I think we believed in this Darwinian theory. And, Dar and Darwin thought that, Darwin has said, thoughts are the secretion of the brain, like it's an ooze, 
Well, I, I believe it's I, I believe it's more of a, a a universal field. I believe it's fractal. I believe it's a quantum field. I believe it's a unified field. I believe in the mind matter cosmic field. So that's because because it, it it so it I think this field here encompasses your God and your 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 God, right? Because it's it develops into that big bang. Also, the algae. I don't believe it's part of. Um, most people thought consciousness could be looked at as a mental state. Kind of like if you're unhealthy, like if you're sick, or mentally, like, like a mental disease or, or a social behavior or a behavior. So they looked at it more as, as, as understanding behavior sciences and the mental state than connecting it to all things to consciousness, all things that was developed in the genetic field. So, like um, epigenetics, that's what this is, epigenetics. It's, it's part of, is this hereditary, right? Can this be something that was part of a genome factor? Um, mapping it out of your consciousness was part of something. How about, how about this? If... Because I think, I, I personally think, is a cosmic state. It actually goes back to genetics from the beginning. Any, any other philosophy, there's, there's a, there, there, philosophies or studies or theories that we can connect back to our ancestors. We can connect back to the beginning of time through our soulful travel. So that goes back into our time travel. We can, we can connect to the people that's been guiding us that has lived this life. And I think that has, goes back to our crisis in our emotional states too. Because I still think a lot of blacks, a lot of human beings are still stuck in a period of time. Especially blacks are stuck in what you call slave mentality. And if you're stuck in a slave mentality, then you're thinking that it's always something against you. Yes, there's a lot that's binding you. But you're binding yourself even in the premise of the thought. So you can break through this consciously by being self-aware, right? And this does goes back into the, 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 the cognition and what you understand. This cognition is understanding about your uh, understanding about how you think, understanding about how you think. Um, now, we know from the five E's that how you think can be developed, right? We did that yesterday. I've talked about it before. You can go back and look at that thing. So, um, also understanding that um, with, with the, um, with, from the micro to the macro, unifying... Universe from the meaning from the smallest of anything to the largest of everything, unifying that's also part of the, is it the same theory as the mind matter cosmic? No, not really. Uh, Max Planck thought so, one of my favorite scientists thought so. Um, um I think we're trying to tap into who we can be and if understanding of who we are can be a genetic understanding. Understanding of who we can be takes consciousness awareness. It doesn't take living in a historical past even though genetically you can bring forth the information. Remember, genetics is an information code. It's, it, it doesn't... Because, okay, so let me step back a little bit. The, the, when the brain is developing, it develops in replication, meaning that every time it goes through something, it repeats. It repeats so it learns what it is. So it's like falling through a mirror. The brain, every time history, every time your brain processes something, it keeps repeating, repeating, repeating. And it every time it sees something, it repeats, repeats. 
that's why if you stay stuck in past information or past understanding of how this is just how I am type speech, this is just how I am type speech, then you lose the information of the neurosympathetic pathways that you can develop. Did I lose you a little bit? I hope not. I hope I didn't lose you. Because if... So that's why a child... That's why a child can learn something so fast because it's watching it and repeat, repeat, repeat in, in its head. And it's, and it's repetitive. What we do as humans is that we slow... We actually slow that down because we get stuck in our ways. <clears throat> the, the, the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, this is, this is also the problem with that. The problem is that you can teach an old dog new tricks, but you have, to, you have to develop the process of wanting to develop a new process because the brain won't just do it. The brain has to take signals from what? That's, isn't, isn't that the, the thing? Can we be, and I've said this before, are we the puppet or the puppet master? We have to be what you call self envisioned to what we are wanting to create create and I think that's where people get stuck in in the God process because if God is the creator then how are we of the create how how can we create are we just abiding by the rules and I think that's where this becomes an argument for so many people because you are the creator we can get back into uh, different types of scripture saying that if, if God's inside you, if you were, if you're one with your God, then obviously you are the creator, right? The Indians believe that we're, we, you know, because of study shamanism and, and we are part of all things growing and living. And so do other cultures on this planet thought the same, it thinks the same thing and how it's done in a unified field and how it's fractalized and how it's quantum and how it's that's consciousness. So, when we... Because a lot of Eastern philosophies have, have come this way when people have been studying yoga and studying the different internal practices that's been done for thousands of years. It's just now starting to get maybe a little bit more popular here. Um, people are just now starting to understand that you know when you become centralized, when you become... When you slow things down... Um, life is a lot easier, and then we we um, um, it, it, it's part of our it helps heals our body. Well, again, remember we've been doing that for thousands of years as practitioners, and now the, the West are saying, "Oh, this is this new way," and, and we make that whole body mind connection, and it's healthier. But you're, you, you yes, there's the other part of the cosmic connection to all things. Are there steps? Yes. Is there practices? Yes. Is there techniques? Yes. Is there branches? Yes. But if you're not understanding that this is part of the healthy mind, and this is part, like, are you using that process of understanding um, how things can crumble and form into formlessness? We talk about this in the martial sciences a lot, is that we teach you form so then you can release into formless. We teach you form for structure, but when you go past structure, it's formless. We teach you breath, so now you're able to act, enact breath, consciousness, activity in all action of movement. That's what we teach. Um, I know some schools still teach like the, you know, like a, like a gym, like a teaching like volleyball. You just do this, you do that. But hopefully, eventually, when you get to a certain level, or it depends on your teacher, it, it doesn't, you know, that you understand that there's a connection to all things of cosmetic matter. And that is where consciousness lies. Remember, consciousness is not so much just what you believe, but what you're connecting yourself to. Now, again, there's different theories. Um, you can go into the neuroscience theory that, that uh, consciousness, how it was tested, how it, it goes into how you function and how your brain functions. But your brain, 
remember, it's a processor and a producer. You, we are receivers and we are um, signalers. So our, our brain is going to be part of all things. Now it's about your sympathetic connection that that's where meditation comes in. That's where the prayer comes in. That's where the the um, the process of of living um, comes in with consciousness. And so this week we're going to discuss some of these um, different theories. If you want a th- if you want me to explain a th- uh, a how consciousness is to how you understand it, I would love to. If you have your own. Uh, way of looking at consciousness, I would love to hear that too, because I understand we approach consciousness in a different way, um, or how you understand what consciousness is, or what you thought you heard consciousness is. Um, this is important because in this time of this crisis or these words that we have been using, it has it has affected not our consciousness. But it has driven our subconsciousness. Remember, conscious is active. To develop consciousness, you have to be high activity of the brain. High activity. Remember, we have a hundred billion neurons. A hundred billion neurons. And if we have a hundred billion neurons and we are what's called high activity. And, and consciousness can only happen in the process right now. Right now, you're listening to my voice. You're see, make, you could be seeing my hands. You could be here. You could be doing anything. But what are your concentration on, and where is it taking you to? Is it? Are you falling back within yourself? Are you understanding what my words are and, and how you're interpreting it? Because that's a lot of the things about where consciousness breaks up within yourself is that it's your interpretation because if we can look at ourselves if we can look at ourselves is that this is about the mind develop developing the brain so we can then Understand our spiritual, which is connection to the physical, physical what? World or all things, so we can you see that word, right? So we can. Decrease the ego to service all living. All at one action. This is why they this is why I teach one breath, one action. One movement, one breath, one action. Understanding your breath, understanding yourself, understanding your action. Because once you have a mind developing, your mind develops in the brain, your spirituality, you understand your connection at that moment, at that precise moment, at the precise breath. Things have a connecting, right? To all things cosmic, your physical, the physical world. The physical world, like this is this is physical, right? These are physical. And in, in, in the physical world, we know it's 99.9% space. And then if you can decrease the ego to service all living things, that is consciousness at every moment of time. We understand, I, oh, I'm getting past my time. I don't want to take up too much of your time in the morning. We will continue this tomorrow. Remember, this is the healthy mind, right? And we're talking about consciousness this week. So if you have any questions, please, um, you can contact me anytime you want to develop um, a consciousness and to understand that what we're going to do for the rest of the week. I want to say thank you for all your blessings and prayers and comments. Um, Stay healthy, stay safe, stay blessed. Make sure you do your meditation. Make sure you do your prayers. Make sure you do your exercises. Do all the things that can make you a healthy person so we can understand a healthy mind and so we can continue on developing a healthy world. Remember, if you don't understand yourself, then you're being driven by the people who want you to be sheep, sheeple, in all the things we're doing. God bless and be safe.